But it didn't need it for this one because this one was being bought. This was what shocked me. And I'm a little scared that it's not going to get there, to be honest with you. As author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard sales, thrift stores, antique malls, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our three antique booths. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin and we are in the Commonwealth Cabin. Have an item going out today that I'm a little scared that it's just not going to get there. You know, I'm a history teacher in my real life and when I'm not in the shed here. And this item is kind of cool for a history teacher and I want to talk about it. But I'm going to talk about history a little bit. I give myself a 30 second quota. And I usually do it inside of the eBay cave. So I'm going to show you that item in a little while and tell you where it's going and tell you why it's odd that it's going there. And I was really shocked when I got the message from the buyer and they said where it was going and what they wanted me to do with it. So I'll let you take a look at that in just a minute. I've had some items lately that have been selling because I've listed a bunch of them and we've recouped our cost a lot quicker on them than I thought we would, even though we're just barely in the profit. So let's take a look. Kids are out here playing today, so if I get a little distracted, you know why. <laughs> Plus, the sun's about ready to peek in. Hey, you like my shirt? Turner got this for me for Christmas. He's like, how come you haven't worn that shirt yet? <laughs> so I figured I'd put it on today. So I didn't know where this came from. It had been listed for a long time. I could tell by what the picture looked like, so I had to go ask my wife where this one was. And, of course, she found it in 10 seconds. It took me forever to find it because this is like a two-year-old item. So at any rate, this thing, 1181. It was on discount. After things have been in the store a long, long time, like two years, I usually don't put stuff on sale. I usually don't do too many promoted listings. But once they've been in the store a long time, you got to get them cleaned out eventually. So the inner man only goes so far. So, you know, two years, if it hadn't worked its magic, you got to get them out of there. So it's $11.81, I think, and it's going to ship out maybe just over eight ounces, unfortunately. But I think this was Reagan's at some point. Nine... I think nine plus ship maybe just nine eleven and six plus shipping on this ones and you can tell even the ones that are in poor condition will sell these fade like crazy so it's hard to find these that aren't faded if they're used and this is just a generic wilson blade cover and this is callaway golf x460 so i don't know but we have been selling these off rather quickly so we have finally recouped our cost we're six dollars into the profit now adding the four, six, and four after cost, after expenses, and after shipping so far. So up six, and we still have that Supreme sweatshirt and a bunch of club head covers and some other stuff. I haven't listed this, the silver ring, and a few other things we have as well. These shoes also came on a 25% off sale that I ran. They're kids' Nike shoes, and I picked them up for a dollar at a sale a long time ago. I picked up a bunch of kids' shoes for a buck a piece. And I'm like, oh, this would be great. And then a lot of them just took forever to sell. And they finally were in the store long enough for me to put them on 25% off sale. Sold for $11.41 or $11.81, I can't remember. Nope, those are both wrong. $11.21 <laughs> plus shipping. So we'll still make, you know, eight bucks on. All right, here's a Vera Bradley tote. And this is called Sun Valley, maybe, I think is what it is. Whenever you can come up with the name, you can usually get a little bit more money. And this is in pretty good shape. I usually don't pick these up unless they're dirt cheap and I'll buy them in lots and put them together. Like somebody's got like six of them and I'll make an offer. But uh, I usually don't pay more than about a dollar. At any rate, this one sold for 15 bucks, so which is not amazing. But it will ship out first class. Probably, I'm thinking, I don't know, let me guess here real quick. I'm going to say this weighs around 12 ounces, but it's going to ship out just over 12. Let's take a look. Yeah, 11.8. 11.8. So you put it in a poly bag and throw a couple stickers in there. <laughs> We're going over, unfortunately. But that's okay. We'll still make a little bit of money on it. This one took a while to sell, and I'm happy it's gone. All right, as you can see, we don't have any high price sales yet, but I have a couple here in the shed that I'm going to show you. They went for pretty darn good money, and I'm happy about And then inside, we've got a few more good sales. Let's take a look. And the first one is not a high price sale, but it's one thing that I've sold probably 50 times, and I love making this sale. I can find it here. There it is. It just fell down right there. That's it right there. It is a thermos stopper right there. 
and I sell these often, not as often as I used to. I think there's a few more people out there doing this. I used to be one of the few. I'll pick up a th an old thermos, even if it's in terrible shape, if I can get it for a buck, and then take the cup and the cap and then sell those two off and usually can make about, like well, this sold for $10 free ship. So we'll make $4.50 to $5 profit on that. And then the cup, which I've already sold, is around the same. So you make like $10, $11 on a couple of really easy small items. Next item's right here, and I have no idea where it came from, other than the fact that it ultimately came from New York City, I believe. Christmas Spectacular Radio City Rockettes. This one sold for $60 plus shipping. It's a Pandora ornament, and it's really nice, and I have no idea where it came from, nor do I know how much it cost initially. <laughs> so that means Blue Ridge Mama picked it up, or maybe... It's my uh, oldest boys, and he picked it up. So occasionally, and he has sold a few things this Christmas to make a little bit of money to buy some other gifts. So maybe that's where it came from. I'm not quite sure. Next one's a really nice sale, and I'm trying to remember the name of this garage sale. I'll tell it to you in just a minute. I think I paid $20 for this one right here, and it sold for 100 bucks. So here it is. Matter of fact, I think I bought both of these at that sale. This one and this one back here. It's a paper roller. Oop, here's the top. It's a queen paper roller. It's got some paint issues, but it is in pretty good condition. Make sure I don't drop it. This is going to be a fun one to pack. And if you've noticed over here, I have a paper roller. Here's my paper roller. I need to paint it, I think. But when I put two of these on it, I need to get the bigger ones. They're cheaper. Anyway, this is the same thing. This one, I think, is longer than that one. I don't think it would fit on there. I thought about keeping it for my second shed, you know, if and when. Blue Ridge Mama lets me have a second shed, <laughs> which is probably no time in the near future. See, it says queen right there. I don't know what that means exactly, but they're, uh, I guess they built this kind of stuff. And I said on the video, I think I did anyways, that I was going to sell it for 75 bucks or 100 bucks. And I listed it for 100 and it took a while to sell, but it did sell. So 20 into 100 plus shipping. So, you know, I don't know, was that about a $70, maybe $65 profit on that one? Pretty happy with that. All right, I listed this just the other day, and I noticed there are a lot more people doing this on eBay. And so I probably listed it for about a dollar cheaper than I usually would. I think they'll be down here. These are the one-inch backgammon pieces. They don't go for quite as much, and they're black and cream. And I've already sold the cups, I think, and the die. Actually, I don't think I did. I think they're still over there. Paid a dollar for the set, sold these for $10 plus shipping, and I still have the cups, I still have the dice, and the directions usually sell as well. So, not too bad. I used to list these, for, I think, for 11 or 12 and it just looks like there's a bunch of folks out there doing it. So $10, and it sold within a day or two. I probably should have listed it for 11 or 12 anyway. The name of that sale, by the way, is Garage Sale Negotiation, She Called My Bluff. And she did call my bluff, and I paid her price. Reagan's making her film debut here. She's got the camera. Turner, let's see. What do you think you got there? What do you sell? Uh, a little giant fur guy. And then... <laughs> I know this guy. I know this guy from somewhere. I never tell Turner what he's got beforehand because I just love how creative he gets. So yeah. that is an Animaniac, I believe, right? Yeah. The baby bunny? Well, what are they? What that's are they? Looney Tunes. Well, Looney Tunes. Animaniacs are Looney Tunes, aren't they? cartoon characters but they're not warner mean, brothers yes yes but they well, do not look like a bunny oh well That's okay so tune. what is, what is it um, like looney tune babies yeah oh, man i like it better when blue ridge mom was upstairs i can make mistakes at, at my own that's uh, because wheel. that's like animaniacs <laughs> i came home from school and watched animaniacs All right, did you get that because i don't remember picking that up uh, 50 cents at goodwill either. probably 715 Probably. plus shipping on that one. And then this bear came from a garage sale that me and Blue Ridge Mama went together. And it is a UNC bear, and it's a builder bear And it went for 850 plus shipping, and that was also 50 cents. So not bad profit, Turner. How much? What are you going to do with your money? Uh, save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate a dollar. Yep, actually you're going to save two dollars, spend two dollars, and donate two dollars. Because you got two of them. All right, thanks. Thank you. Bye. And don't forget to get your stickers at commonwealthsticker.com. I picked this one up at a sale not too long ago. It's just a little uh, toddler Liberty University football jersey, and they had a really good season this year, so not a surprise that Liberty stuff selling every now and again, especially football stuff. I bought it for 50 cents, sold for $11 plus shipping.
It's Nike windbreaker. It's even got the little hood back here, zipped in hood, rain jacket, whatever you want to call it, $18 plus shipping. And I think, I think, cause I've seen a lot of my boy stuff come through here lately that this was size small. This was his, he's just too darn big for it now. Haven't sold one of these in a while. We are into the pure profit. Love this one right here. And I'll put the garage sale, if I can remember, I'll put the, the link to that garage sale right here or a picture of it or something. It was a fun one. And we picked this one up and I think three bucks and we got like, I don't know, 40 of them, something like that. 12.81 free shipping for this Mary Kay jeweled, I always say bedazzled, but that's not right. Beaded lipstick case, 12.81. Hey, before I talk about that historical item out there, that I was talking about a minute ago. This one went to Stephanie. And Stephanie, I think you've now got two of these. This is speaking of history, right? There's Napoleon's iconic painting crossing the Alps. It says uh, in a man right there on the rock. It's pretty good stuff right there. So that one is headed your way. Part of our 12 days of Christmas fundraising efforts. Stephanie, $20.50 plus shipping. We'll start with the lower priced one first. $8 plus shipping. I think this is the third one of these that we've sold so far we are now in the pure profit and we still have a pretty good stack of time magazines to go if you remember that sale paid twenty dollars for all of them so eight dollars free shipping did not think this one would sell sometimes what i'll do is i'll look through and try to find some kind of here we go so there's war and peace toy tolstoy's war and peace try to find some kind of advertising of some sort in here good year there's almost always in the older ones there's almost always some kind of tobacco on the back this one says they deliver more pleasure with the one cigarette that's milder cooler and better tasting on the nation's front <laughs> Jeez. all right there you go so this one i put world war ii in the title because it's 1942 and of course we're dealing with leningrad right here and this one had no sold comps that I saw, none, and had like seven or eight listed. So I put it right there at the competitive price. It's not in great shape. They all have condition issues, but the rest of it's in okay shape. And I think I put a few other things in the keyword search as well, and it sold. $9, no, I take about $8 plus shipping. So it's not amazing, but at least I just didn't waste my money on it. I got some money out of it and made a little profit. Like sometimes people don't want them for collectors. You know, they're not framing them. They don't care that much about condition. They want to get it for the stories inside of it, for the actual historical stuff that you can find in it, which that would be more me. I mean, not that I don't care about condition, but I'm not really a collector. But I'd love to look through some of this stuff for sure and check it out. And they have some pretty neat ads in it. So I'll pick a few ads and put it in there. There's Disraeli, went out on a limb. So here we have spam on the back right there. I love that. So I put that in the title, but it didn't need it for this one because this one was being bought. This was what shocked me. And I'm a little scared that it's not going to get there, to be honest with you. This one is going to China and they left a message and they're like, hey, do not send this to Hong Kong. Do not send this to Taiwan. Send this to China. I'm like, hmm, interesting. So I got to look at the provinces and figure out where exactly it's going. But the title, I don't want to give away everything, but the title of the buyer starts with PRC. Thinking, really? So, which is the People's Republic of China, which is China. What you think of as China is the PRC. I kind of use this against my kids all the time. I'll, I'll say, what do you mean by China? When they're, when they're answered one of my questions in class is China. And I'll say, which China? Because Taiwan is the Republic of China. And it kind of gets them thinking about what happens. And if you remember, if you watch that video, I said everything happens in nines in the 20th century, which is not entirely true, but 1949 for sure is the Chinese revolution of sorts, either, even though the Chinese revolution lasts forever. All right, I got to give myself 30 seconds here. So you can turn out for 30 seconds or you can listen. Basically what happens here is at the turn of the 20th century, the Qing dynasty is dying away. They're the puppets of European states, of America to some degree. They're the puppets of Japan later, and they are a republic. It goes from the Qing dynasty to the republic. The Qing dynasty was a puppet state anyways in its, in its waning days, and it's not ever really a republic. But because of all that's going on in the world, World War I, World War II, it's a bit of a mess in China. And you have the nationalists, the Guomindong, fighting against the communists. And in reality, they should both not be fighting each other. They should both be fighting the Japanese. But once the Japanese are done with, then somebody's got to come out on top. And obviously Mao 
comes out on top, which explains the, the PRC versus the Republic of China and all that stuff. I think there's a Time magazine that has Pui on it, the last emperor of China, which would have been 1911, 1912, I think. So the dynastic system lasted for three millennium in China until the Republic, which really wasn't a Republic, and then Mao takes over. And uh, Mao not the greatest guy in the world. Here we go. The communist boss learned tyranny as a boy. So that's why I'm interested that this thing is going to China. This is not the kind of thing that the Chinese would want coming into their country. This is the kind of thing they would censor. They wouldn't allow this stuff in. I mean, talking about Mao as a tyrant, which of course he was. I mean, undoubtedly one of the worst tyrants in the history of the world for that matter. But the Chinese don't want this in their country saying he's a tyrant. So I'm really interested where this is going and why it's going there. Because this is not the kind of thing that would normally be let into their country. All right, that was like a minute and a half. I'm sorry. But thanks for joining us today. We'll go back outside and we hope to see you next time. One sale at a Reagan's Commonwealth Picker dot com store. What do you got? Um, a Commonwealth Picker mod to Ron. <laughs> All right, Commonwealth Picker mug to Ron. Does Ron have like I see you have your little notes over yeah. there? So what did he say? He says I'm a reseller. I watch all your videos and I have learned so much. My store name is Harbor Shop, and he said thank you for all you do. Awesome. Come over here, Ray Turner. We were mamas here. Come check out what what somebody sent us here. This one, who do we say this was? Michelle. Michelle, I think. Couldn't tell if that was Michael yeah. or Michelle. Ray says it's Michelle. She <laughs> opened it. Thank, and she's from Tennessee, right? Yeah. Because this is the mm -hmm. Great Smoky Mountains. Cool. And have you been there with the Blue Ridge Mountain? I have been. I have been there, but it's been a long time. Long Not time. After bears. We need to go. And that's a sweet little ornament. And we will head on down there. What, what do you think? Our next trip? Just me and you? We'll leave the kids here? Yeah, that's <laughs> go to the Smokies. It looks like this ornament. Oh, that's right. From West Virginia. Mm -hmm. That's right. No, I looks have just like it, huh? Yeah. Yep. And I still got it. We got to take this tree down, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Oh, All I right. can stay up till New Year's. <laughs> And she just gives y'all some compliments in here. So thank you very much. Yes, we appreciate you. it. And let's check out this one. I'm going to skip over you there, Turner. Got an ashtray. Can't beat that. From yeah. Scotland. You know, that's where some of my bloodlines are from. Some of them. I think more of mine. <laughs> more of yours, I'm sure. There we go. Edinburgh Castle. That's awesome. I love it. All right. And this is cool, too. And this is going to end up going back here. I don't know where we'll put it. We might even have to move that plate. I'm not sure how we'll do this, but thank you so much. To send that from England is really, really kind of you to send it from. I think maybe it's not. Maybe it is from somewhere in the UK, though. Check that out. I love it. Jane EFC, you comment all the time. Thank you. Speaking of fur babies says, down here. Yes, I do hope you like the number plate. That sounds like it's someone from England. <laughs> or if not, you have very nice grammar and matter manners. There you go. I love it. Brighter 2021 for sure. You yeah. like that, Turner? Yeah. It's going to go perfect in here. Everton. I don't know where that is. I'm going to have to look that up. Thank y'all. Appreciate cool. it. Thank Bye. You. And don't forget to get your stickers at homelovefigure.com.